Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Hello and welcome to another SSET video. Today we are doing a video for our 1C 4 o'clock class. It's our Monday, Wednesday and Friday class. And today we are doing reading, so you will need your 1C reading workbook and mouse tail. So make sure you have both books before we get started. Today we are going to do pages 33 and 34 in the workbook. So make sure you have both video, uh, both books. And the story we are doing today, we are doing the last story in the book, which is called The Bath. The Bath. So this is on page 55. So turn your book to pages 55. We're going to do the last story called The Bath. All right, so if you have your books, let's get started. All right, this story is called The Bath. There was once a mouse who was dirty, so he took a bath. The water filled up the bathtub, but the mouse was still dirty, so he let the water run over onto the floor. The water filled up the bathroom, but the mouse was still dirty, so he let the water run out of the window. The water filled up the street, but the mouse was still dirty. Page 58. So he let the water run into the house next door. The people in the house next door cried, Turn off the water, we have had our bath today. But the mouse was still dirty, so he let the water run all over the whole town. The people in the town cried, Turn off the water, you are very clean now. The next page, page 60. The mouse said, yes, you are right, I am clean now. So he turned off the water. By then the town was all wet, but the mouse did not care. He rubbed himself with a big towel until he was very dry. And then he went right to sleep. Next page. Is anybody awake? asked Papa. There was no answer. Seven small mice were snoring. Good night, my boys, said Papa, and sleep well. I will see you all in the morning. The end. Okay, so that is the last story that we are doing in Mouse Tales. So let's answer some questions from our reading workbook. So make sure you are on page 33. So on page 33, this one. So question number one, why did the mouse take a bath? Why did he take a bath? Have a look in your book. First page, page 55. Let's read it again quickly. There was once a mouse who was dirty, so he took a bath. So question is, why did the mouse take a bath? He took a bath because he was dirty. Question again. Why did the mouse take a bath? He took a bath because he was dirty. He took a bath because he was dirty. Question number two. Why did he let the water run over? Why did he let the water run over? Have a look on page 56. Have a look on page 56. Let's quickly read it. But the mouse was still dirty, so he let the water run over onto the floor. So the question is, why did he let the water run over? He let the water run over. So he let the water run over. 
run over because he was still dirty. Question number two is, why did he let the water run over? He let the water run over because he was still dirty. He let the water run over because he was still dirty. All right, make sure you write the answers. Question number three, what did the people in the house next door cry? So what did the people in the house next door say? So let's have a look. Have a look on, we will start on page 57. So page 57 we'll read from here, the water, the water. The water filled up the street, but the mouse was still dirty. Next page, page 58. So he let the water run into the house next door. The people in the house next door cried, turn off the water, we've had our bath today. So question number three is, why did the people in the house next door cry? Why did they cry? Oh, what did they cry? What did they cry? So what did they cry? They cried, turn off the water, we have had our bath today. So they cried. Now when it says cry, it doesn't mean like, cry like this it just means like to shout out something why did why did they cry why did they shout out so what did they cry they cried turn off the water turn off the water turn off the water turn off the water we have had our bath today we have had our bath today. Now make sure you do these at the start because we're doing something that was said in the book, so talking in the book. So make sure you start with this and finish with that as well. So question number three again. What did the people in the house next door cry? So what did they shout out? They cried, turn off the water. We have had our bath today. Turn off the water. We have had our bath today. Question number four. What did the people in the town cry? What did the people in the town cry? All right, so let's read from page 59, 59 at the top, 59. But the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run all over the town. The people in the town cried, turn off the water, you are very clean now. So question number four is what did the people in the town cry? So here's your answer, the people in the town, they cried, turn off the water, you are very clean now. Turn off the water, you are very clean now. Turn off the water, you are very clean now. And we can do exclamation there. So question number four again is, what did the people in the town cry? They cried, turn off the water, you are very clean now. Turn off the water, you are very clean now. All right, I'm going to erase one, two, and three. So make sure you have your answer. So let's do question number five. Question number five is, why did the mouse finally turn off the water? Why did he finally turn off the water? So have a look at page 60, 60, 60. Let's read at the top. The mouse said, yes, you are right. I am clean now. So he turned off the water. So the question again, why did the mouse finally turn off the water? 
He turned off the water because he was clean now. He turned off the water because he was clean now. Question number five again. Why did the mouse finally turn off the water? The answer is he turned off the water because he was clean now. He turned off the water because he was clean now. Question number six. How was the town? Did the mouse care? So question number six has two questions. Question number six has two questions. First one, how was the town? If you keep reading on page 60, it says, the mouse said, yes, you are right. I am clean now. So he turned off the water. By then, the town was all wet. So the first part of this one, question number six is, how was the town? The town was all wet. How was the town? The town was all wet. The town was all wet. And this one has a second question. Did the mouse care? So the answer is on the next page, page 61. But the mouse did not care. So the question is, did the mouse care? No, the mouse did not care. The mouse did not care. So question number six has two questions. First one, how was the town? The town was all wet. And the second question is, did the mouse care? The answer is, the mouse did not care. He didn't care. Question number seven. Question number seven. What did the mouse do after his bath? All right, let's read question page 61 again, page 61. But the mouse did not care. He rubbed himself with a big towel until he was very dry. And then he went right to sleep. So question number seven is, what did the mouse do after his bath? So after his bath, the mouse went straight to sleep. The mouse went straight to sleep. Question number seven. What did the mouse do after his bath? What did he do after his bath? After his bath, the mouse went straight to sleep. All right, I'm going to erase five and six. So we only have two more, eight and nine. So question number eight. What did Papa ask after he finished telling his stories? So what did Papa ask after he finished telling his stories? So turn the page. So page 61, so go to the next page, 62. It doesn't have a number here, but this is page 62. Is anybody awake? Asked Papa. So the question is, what did Papa ask after he finished telling his stories? Papa asked, is anybody awake? Papa asked, is anybody awake? And make sure you finish with a question mark because this is a question and we have to do these again because we're doing what Papa was saying in the book. So the question number eight again is, what did Papa ask after he finished reading or telling his stories? Papa asked, is anybody awake? Question mark. One more question. Question number nine. Was there an answer and why? So question nine has two questions. So was there an answer? Did anybody answer? 
let's have a look next page page 63 this one there was no answer seven small mice were snoring so question nine is was there an answer and why there was no answer because there was no answer because why why didn't the small mice answer because they were all asleep so there was no answer because the mice were all asleep so question number nine the last question on this page is was there an answer and why there was no answer this is from the small mice there was no answer because the mice were all asleep so last one there was no answer because the mice were all asleep all right we have one last thing to do on the bottom here open your mind we have a couple of questions here this is something that you can think about so the question is when you were little did a bedtime story help you go to sleep so did mom or dad or your grandmother or grandfather or maybe aunt or uncle did they tell you a story to help you go to sleep what about now question two is now what helps you to go to sleep do you read a book do you play a game on your phone what do you do to go to sleep do you count in your head I know a lot of people count sheep and fall asleep so what kind of things do you do that will help you go to sleep now so question one was when you were little did a bedtime story help you to fall asleep like did mum or dad read a story from a book while you were in bed that would help you go to sleep and question number two is what do you do now that helps you go to sleep all right have a think about those two answers now that is the end of page 33 so we have one more page to do page 34 this one is talking about the main ideas of the story and what are the supporting details so let's do the first one we have to look at the main idea here the main idea how do we find what the main idea is well we have to go back to these two here the main idea and the supporting detail so let's have a read what they are the first one the main idea at the top the main idea at the top is the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run over onto the floor and supporting detail one the water filled up the bathroom so let's find that in our book if you have a look here page 56 five six it says here at the top let's have a read but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run over onto the floor the water filled up the bathroom but the mouse was still dirty so what is the main idea here so let's do this one main idea main idea the water filled up the bathroom all right so the main idea is if you have a look on page 56 have a look here but the mouse was still dirty but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run out of the window so he let the water run out of the window so that is the main idea if you have a look here top one main idea on page 34 
up the top here this one main idea is but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run out of the window but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run out of the window and then it says here supporting detail one so the support, supporting detail one is the next part of your story on page 56 here uh, we go over to page 57 the water ended up on the street uh, the water filled up the street and supporting detail one here the water filled up the street and it says the next one is the main idea so let's read the main idea the next one here main idea this one because we have to find supporting detail one so let's have a look at this main idea the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run into the house next door the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run into the house next door and we have to do supporting detail one supporting detail one here so this was our main idea the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run into the house next door this is supporting detail one the people in the house next door cried turn off the water so the people the people in the house next door the people in the house next door cried turn off the water turn off the water okay that'll do that's enough for that one turn off the water so we have one more thing to do so just quickly copy those down I'll give you a bit of time to write this down we just have one more to do okay now we have to do the last main idea so how do we find that well we have to look at the supporting detail and then go back and have a look at the main idea so the last one the supporting detail one says the people in the town cried turn off the water you are very clean now so turn off the water you are very clean now have a look at page 59 in your book page 59 the people in the town cried turn off the water you are very clean now so we need to go back to find our main idea which is but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run all over the whole town so that is our supporting detail oh, sorry that is our last main idea main idea main idea is but the mouse was still dirty but the mouse was still dirty comma but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water so he let the water run all over the whole town so the last one is the main idea last main idea down the bottom here the main idea the last one here is but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run all over the whole town one more time but the mouse was still dirty so he let the water run all over the whole town town so that is page 34 so you have to write main idea for this one supporting detail one and the last one is the main idea 
here okay so make sure you write these if you need some time please just pause the video now and then complete page 34 All right, so I hope you have finished all of that. Remember, please make sure you look at your vocab throughout the, your, your time at home. It's a good idea to study your vocab because you can use the vocab in your writing and also to practice when you are speaking. It will help you learn new words that you can include in book reports and journals. All right, so that is the end of our video. So this was our 1C mouse tails video for 1c monday wednesday friday 4 p.m class so that is all we have time for so until i see you please take care at home and bye for now today a reader tomorrow a leader sset english town